What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are checking out this awesome 2011 Maserati Gran Turismo MC Stradale uh, which is a legendary car and a car that both Martijn and I have been wanting to drive for a long time uh, we've even looked at buying one at some point because I just think that this is one of the coolest Maseratis ever made and it is also one of the best sounding V8s ever made I think so luck would have it that Stuart at Driver's Dream bought this car last week this beautiful Grigio Granito <laughs> my Italian is really getting awesome now I own a Ferrari but he just bought this car and he has been kind enough to give us the keys while he is out playing with our Ferrari 599 somewhere on the Autobahn over there. Uh, he's making a video with that as well. He has a very cool YouTube channel. Go check him out. I'll link him in the description in the top comment and at the end of the video as well so make sure you check him out. He makes awesome videos of really insane cars and uh, he deserves much more subscribers than he currently has. So go check him out. Right now, we're going to check out this car though. As I said, we've got this granito gray, so basically granite gray Maserati. And uh, it is a very nice spec. This car was delivered in, I think, white, red, black, gray, and blue. And I think this is one of the best colors because it gives it this really sinister look. Uh, it's a very angry looking car, especially at the front with those super angry headlights and this big fish mouth that is sucking up all the air, sucking in all the air, I should say. Um, but this Stradale version has uh, a much more aggressive front end. So we've got a lot of changes on the body, uh, especially at the front and at the rear for better cooling and of course, aero. So more air goes in here. We've got this very pronounced front splitter. It is a really cool look. And then the wheels, these are 20 inch and they are lighter than the wheels you get on a standard Gran Turismo. And behind that, we've got Brembo carbon ceramic brakes. These are 60% lighter than the steel discs. And we've got Pirelli P0 rubber around the wheels as well. The suspension is stiffer on this car, so they retuned that. Uh, the ride height is lower. So this is basically the the racing version for the street. The MC stands for Maserati Corse. I, I can't do this in freaking English. I need to do it in Italian. It just It's just weird if you try to pronounce these words in English. So that is basically what this car is. It is a racing version uh, for the road of the Gran Turismo. So at the rear, we've got a completely different rear bumper. Uh, you can see how gross it is out today. So that's why it's so dirty. Sorry about that, but I think it looks really cool. Rear bumper, you can see that uh, it looks completely different than a regular Gran Turismo and we've got a different exhaust as well and it sounds insane. It is a glorious sound, one of the best sounding V8s as I said. I really believe that. I think, you know, an Aston Martin V8 Vantage, the previous one, this car, Shelby, Mustang GT350, those cars kind of, yeah, they make up the glorious V8 top sounds i really like it um, we've got this carbon fiber bootlet spoiler as well for the mc stradale there we go again oh there it is so the engine there it is you can see how far back it is. So it's actually mid-engine, front mid-engine. 4.7 liter V8 with 450 horsepower and 510 newton meters of torque. Uh, this is up from 440 uh, horsepower and 490 newton meters of torque in the regular Gran Turismo S. So plus 10 horsepower and 20 newton meters of torque. And that is down mainly to a special coating they used inside the engine uh, to reduce friction. Kind of a diamond-like coating I read somewhere that originated in Formula One, apparently. Sounds cool. So these were built between 2011 and 2013, this first version, uh, which is the good version because it also means that you don't have a rear seat. 
Uh, it's a bit more hardcore, but after 2013, the facelift, uh, this engine got another little upgrade to 460 horsepower. But I really think that this is the version to have. And that is mainly because of the rear seat delete. So if we check that out, you can see that there's nothing here. And then you can see that it also has these beautiful carbon back seats. Um, so the weight saving on this car compared to a Gran Turismo S is uh, 110 kilos. And that is mainly down to the removal of that rear seat, of course. But we've got those lighter front seats, the lighter wheels, the carbon ceramics. Uh, that all makes up 110 kilos for a dry weight of 1670 kilos. Now, apparently these are actually the seats from a Ferrari Enzo which is awesome and US spec cars didn't get these uh, they also had a six-speed automatic gearbox instead of this robotized manual six-speed which I don't know why I don't know if that's a real uh, Stradale version but um, anyway that's a, a difference for uh, the US market and as you can see this car is from Dubai it has been imported by the previous owner uh, because he really wanted this spec and he couldn't find the right spec in Europe. Uh, so he went for this car. And I have to say, I can imagine. I mean, it is a beautiful spec. With this red interior as well on the doors. Beautiful carbon fiber. We've got carbon fiber down here. Gorgeous. A lot of Alcantara as well. Carbon on the dash, which I think was all optional. Uh, so was this bit of carbon. Apparently, as standard, they weren't that exciting, but you could go for some optional carbon fiber. And of course, this beautiful carbon fiber steering wheel. Just the entire rim is carbon. It's so nice to, to hold. Oh, it is a really cool car. Man, shoot, you did a good job. This is awesome. Okay, let's start it up. That is really nice. So we've got, uh, this is automatic mode, basically auto. Um, valves are closed. Very civilized. And if you go to race, the valves open and you get this glorious V8 sound. Super nice. Uh, we've also got these pedal shifters, the carbon fiber ones, attached to the steering column. Really nice. And the previous owner also upgraded this. So this is like an Android system with a touchscreen. Um, but Sure told us that he does have the original one, which is great. Because this has been done quite well, I have to say, with the buttons here and stuff. It looks pretty good, but it's always nice to have uh, the original stuff as well. All right, so gearbox engage now this gearbox the six speed is the same gearbox we also have in our ferrari 599 but it shares components with the 599 gto uh, which is really cool so it shares some electronics and some hardware as well with that car now of course we're going to take the little tunnel oh, what a sound man It sounds so racy. It really does. Oh, so crazy. It, it really is. It's so easy to distinguish this sound from any other V8. It's That's what I love about V8s. They all have their own little, their own sound. It's so cool. So I think in addition to all the weight saving, which of course is quite significant, 110 kilos, they also did something to the steering because it is super light and sensitive and I think that's also to improve like the turn in and the feel of lightness because the car feels it feels pretty light. Now 
of course conditions are horrible today uh, but in perfect conditions it should be able to do four and a half seconds to 100 but right now i mean i can try to do a little bit of a pull away no nah nothing happens and top speed is 301 kilometers an hour oh but i have to say i really like the way this car turns in it feels not it's not super hard or firm it's it's still it's still quite comfy But the way it turns in is just very nice. It's been set up really well. I would have loved to drive this car on a, like a summer's evening, 25 degrees, nice hot tarmac, a lot of grip. But anyway. Alrighty, so. Let's see what it's like at the Autobahn. Oh, that gearbox is really nice. It reminds me of the gearbox we have in our car. Of course, it's basically the same, but it feels different in that the, the engine revs out more quickly. And the car just feels lighter than our car. All right, here we go, full throttle. So very quick shift at high revs and full throttle, just like with our car. And of course, we also measured the 100 to 200 time which was 9.39 seconds, which is very decent. I mean, it's a 10 year old car and we always say that anything below 10 seconds is a quick car, but it doesn't feel that quick. It's more like the enjoyment of the drive, the crazy sound you have behind you and in front of you, of course, then than the real like speed and I think that's what this car is about it is about getting into a groove on a nice B road or an Alpine road you know that sound echoing through the mountains that is what this car is about and I can totally imagine that being like automotive heaven It is weird though, the steering is so light that you kind of have to get used to judging it, you know? You turn into a corner and you're like, oh, that, that's a quick rack. But I have to say that the suspension is really good. I mean, I'm in race mode, so that should be the most firm setting. But it's still really nice, it absorbs everything nicely. Oh, that is so nice. <laughs> so I guess what I was expecting from this car was it to feel more heavy and it to be harder and louder and uncompromised I feel like this car is still very capable on a day-to-day -day basis and I was expecting it to be a bit a bit harsher but the suspension is actually very nice it does take a while to get up there I mean <laughs> that 300 kilometers an hour top speed you do need some space to get there uh, I'm sure it will but I don't but I'm not sure we will be able to do that today because it is quite busy. But man, 
is it nice? I hope you enjoyed it. Sure, thank you so much for taking your car to us and letting us have a go in it. I hope you enjoyed our Ferrari as well. Uh, as I said, you can subscribe to Driver's Dream Shorts channel right somewhere on the right here. And to you guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You can also subscribe to our channel by clicking the button in the middle. Check out this video or go check out this playlist. See you at the next one. Bye.